Hello everybody and welcome back to the War of Spanish Aggression. We are currently at 3% in our war against the Spanish. They did actually show up a little bit. They've got this fleet here. They have 20, 20 transports here, so they probably actually do have some, some armies here too as well. In fact, I think when you look at the tooltip here where it says 125020 and then the dash number 20... I think that indicates they have 20 troops on the on that fleet. I don't know. We'll find out. Not sure exactly where they're headed. They're currently going up into the Mozambique channel. But we're going to try to fight them off here. And we, we currently do have a numerical advantage over them, assuming that that is in fact 20k troops on there. We have a pretty sizable numerical advantage. They do have Miltech 14. So they have a military technology on us, which is going to hurt, but it could be worse. So let's go ahead and see how this goes. Where are you guys going to land? We do have Ticking War Score since we control Safala, which is the Wargle. They don't actually seem too concerned about actually getting here. They are going up into the Zanzibar Strait, so they're just headed north, taking attrition. That's fine. We'll, we'll head up north as well with this army, and this one will also head up this way. Okay, they are actually getting off. They are getting off in Melindi. Okay, so they're going here. Well, it's going to take us a little bit to actually get up there. They have 18.7k troops here. And of this, we can't actually seem to see... Oh, they don't even have a leader. Okay. Let's go ahead and... We can't see their composition yet until they land, it looks like. 27 January is when they'll be landing. That'll give us some time to get rotated up there. We do have this guy with the 6 maneuver. He's going to get us up there pretty quick. We'll see if it's quick enough. Spain is kind of grumpy. I'm not entirely sure why. Mostly because they just want our provinces. Typical Europeans. Good job, Spain. That's kind of my experience with Europeans in this game. They just... They're mad at you because they want your stuff. So we'll go ahead and move this guy straight up into Tana via this route. And then this guy straight into Mombasa. We'll see if we can surround this, this stack a little bit here. No idea when Spain is going to bring in any more troops, if Spain is going to bring in any more troops. With these really distant wars, it can get kind of sketchy. So, I guess we'll see. Oh, he actually is abandoning his siege and running away. I guess he doesn't like our number advantage. He's actually taking heavy attrition hits here. Did... He, w he did have 13. Did I just see him disband a troop? Did the troop die to attrition? Okay. <laughs> what are you doing, Spain? Well, he's running away. We'll chase him. He just lost another one. Is is he disbanding his troops? Is that what's happening here? Are you in another war? Are you just trying to... No, this is the only war. I don't know what he's doing. He's running away from us and disbanding troops, I think. I don't think they're dying to attrition. He's got 15k there. They're, they're all close to full. He's not going to be able to get through Mogadishu very well, right? Well, it's just a capital fort. I think he can walk through it if he wants. Yeah, he's walking through it. Well, while he's doing that, let's convert another one of these fetishist provinces. And let's have you actually come up and see if you can cut him off through the Horn of Africa this way. Is he just trying to distract my army? He doesn't have anybody down here. I don't know what his goal is here. But our colony in Wadai became self-sustaining. That is excellent. So we will go ahead and settle in after, I guess. That's the 
next available province, so we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. He still doesn't have a leader here, so let's send our army with the six maneuver leader to head up over here, and you to cut off. Actually, with him like that, we can cut off like that. He's just running up the coast. I'm not sure what Spain is thinking here, but we actually caught him. So I guess we move in to reinforce this army since he does have a miltech on us. This is going to hurt. There we go. He retreated. He is going into Cardo. I think. Yeah, he is. He might go up there. He might come over this way. Native assimilation. Excellent. 100 pop in our new colony. That's great. Our Master of Mint just died, so we are no longer paying for him. Our inflation is even, though. And actually, looks like there's a rounding error here. Looks like it should be going down by 0 0.01, but that's still very, very minimal. So he's going into Hafen. No, we're going into Hafen. He's going into Las Corre. So we're just going to chase him down and see if we can't wipe this stack. That would be funny. How far is he retreating? He's going into Berbera. Looks like he's retreating quite a ways. Hmm. Not sure where exactly he's going here. You guys go there. You guys go up this way. We'll, we'll, we'll hedge our bets. There we go. He's not back down here, is he? No. Like, his war enthusiasm is still high. What do we actually need to white piece this? Thirty reasons? Okay. I mean, if he keeps doing this nonsense, that'll be just fine. We can go ahead and core these, or those. There's one more that we'll be able to core after this month tick. Which we absolutely should do. There we go. Excellent. Our corruption is currently increasing due to overextension. Well, it's not increasing. Where are you going? He's going into Masawa now. How far is this guy retreating? Like, we beat him up over here. He's going all the way up here? At this point, I feel like we need to walk this army back down here in case he's trying to distract us and land another army down here. And then the one with the better maneuver can chase. So let's go ahead and do that. He's only got 10k troops here. 11, 1, and 3. So in we go. We do have some Hejazi separatists. These are the ones that are hopefully never going to pop. 78% currently. Mmm, Sufi Shrine. Okay. That's a bit unfortunate. Is he going up into Mamlukian territory? What? What is... I'm confused. He's also retreating so fast. Like, we have six maneuver and he's outrunning us. <laughs> well... We'll see where he's actually going. Right there. Okay, he's just going up into the Mamlukian territory. Okay. Well. That's fine. Oh, hey, they actually popped. That is highly unfortunate. Okay, uh, we're going to send this force up to go deal with this first. Spain isn't bringing another army yet, so hopefully we don't get pulled too thin here. He does not actually want to do this, it would appear. Well, we'll just sit here. He can't come in either direction unless he comes in with a fleet. And the odds of that happening, considering his fleet is nowhere to be seen, is pretty low. So, where is he gonna go? He's just gonna sit in Iswa? Isna, I guess? 
That's all he's gonna do? That's okay. Okay, now he's running. He does have a leader now, so that's something. Did Spain just underestimate us this much? Like, how much ticking war score can we actually get? 16.2. That's not much. I mean, we're not really going to be able to get much out of this. We might be able to get, like, war reps or something. That's heavy on the maybe. His tech is definitely superior to ours. Look at that. Of course, we also rolled a zero, and he rolled a six, and then we rolled a one, and he rolled an eight. He still retreated, though. We'll see how far he's going to retreat. Still no sign down here. Here's a tiny little fleet. One heavy ship, two light ships. Okay. Well, so far, he's just massively misplaying this. I have no idea what he's doing right now. Do we have... We do have military access into Tunis. That's probably where he's going. There we go. These guys are getting there. They're not quite to Jeddah yet. Eh, he's actually going reasonably far through Tunis. Well, we'll keep chasing. I am a little concerned about us being this far away from the Wargle. Unfortunate that these rebels actually popped. Are we going to get there first? 21 March compared to their 26 March. We're going to be the defenders here. They're walking straight into us. That's amusing. <laughs> Good luck with that, rebels. So, with these ridiculous shattered retreats, I mean, do we just walk all the way up here and attack Spain? That'd be funny. <laughs> Peasants are getting uppity, though. At times when peasants experienced harsh, harsh subjugation, vacillation, apparently, harsh subjugation, some of them would turn against their landlords, demanding better treatment and conditions. So we could lose some admin power, that would suck. Or we could have the nobility lose some loyalty and lose some legitimacy, and that's what we're going to do. So, do we have access through Tlemkin? We do not. How about Portuguese Maghreb? Yeah. So, we could get military access here, and then we just, I guess, walk up and invade Spain. No, we don't want to do that. No, we don't want to do that. We have to wait for this to happen. There we go. So yeah, we just, no, we just walk up to here, I guess. So, uh, that's happening. We're chasing from here all the way up to Spain. <laughs> oh, our poor army. Our poor, poor army. Okay, so these guys are just going to go ahead and take back Jetta real quick. And then mar march down and make sure Safala is safe. And this army up here is going to, I guess, attack Spain. Uh, this is currently occupied by Ottomans. That's a little... A little spooky that Ottomans are cracking into Hungary right now. Not good at all. However, what does Spain actually have right now? Spain. They have force limited 94, but they only have 31k troops. Okay. I mean, that's still a little spooky. Not sure where all their troops are. They're mostly infantry. They have 10,000 artillery. So, if their main body fights this group, we will lose. So we need to be careful of that. We need to kind of do hit-and-run tactics here, and... Actually, they're at medium war enthusiasm. Would they accept a white piece? They're close. Probably when we start attacking their homelands, they'll be like, Yeah, let's not do this. <laughs> Waleda has been converted. Excellent. Sadamo is next. We're at 44% religious unity, and it is glorious. We're also at 4,000 manpower, and we're running out of money. Jeddah is now under our control, so we'll go ahead and march all the way down to Safala. We do have Mogadishu and Medribari both down here. I think they're trying to go attack a Spanish colony that might be over, like, down in South Africa or something. But they don't have the ability to get through here. I guess that's what they're doing. I mean, if 
if Spain decided to walk up, I guess they're guarding. So that's useful. We should probably improve relations with Antimoro, since they're our shiny new vassal. And Imarina, we're going to want to go to war with. They're actually allied with Moravi, which could be interesting after the Spanish War. We don't want to be doing that and the Spanish War at the same time, for sure, in case the Spaniards manage to get all their troops together, which, as we're chasing up towards Spain, is increasingly likely. We lost vision on them. There they are. These guys are locked in to... Where, where are they locked into? Zuara. Okay, yeah. We're going to fight them. Just a small Spanish contingent here. We should be able to beat that relatively easily. Okay. They actually retreated and left their one stack out to dry. So we wiped that. They're down to 29,000 troops now. They do have a lot more manpower than we do, and I assume their economy is a whole lot better than ours, so they'll probably merc up if they think they're going to start to lose this. But as of right now, should we just go for a white piece? We'll be able to in, like, one year. Well, we just took a loan. Let's go ahead and spend some of that on some of these investments. Actually, none of them are particularly good investments. We could put a... could put a marketplace in Jeddah, at least. That's probably a good idea. Uh, where are you guys going? We actually can't see where they're going. Okay. Hi, Tatooine. Yeah, this is... This is a very odd decision on the part of Spain. I don't know what they're doing. Here's their fleet. Their fleet's in the Mediterranean right now. Okay. <laughs> Whatever, Spain. And here is 5 5k, 5k troops. 5k Spanish troops landing over here in Palermo. Are you in another war? No. You just putting troops into Italy. Okay. So I guess their troops are spread really thin. They just... Maybe they didn't see the full extent of us up here and just saw this down here and were like, we need this? I don't know. AI usually doesn't make mistakes like that, though. Yeah, yeah, we've got these separatists coming up. That was known. Our troops are on our way down here. We'll be able to jump over there and handle them. I'm kind of thinking we just pull back, go for a white piece here, which will be acceptable quite soon. Revolts in Spain. Oh, okay, so they're, they're dealing with some revolts. Well, that's some of it, for sure. How are you doing, Spain? Well, they're up to 42,000 troops. They're training more, I guess. Let's pull back. 42,000 troops is a scary amount, especially when we're behind in Miltech. Let's go ahead and walk on back, all the way back down here. Sorry about your feet, guys. You'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> so we'll pull them back. We'll just defend our territory. We'll go for a white piece. I think that's going to be the best plan. Especially with us in debt, with us having rebels coming up, and wanting to fight Moravi and Imarina. So let's go ahead and do that. That will be for the best, I believe. Mamluks are building a spy network. Well, they really can't pull that off. Who are they allied with? Hassa, Aniza, and Hajaz. So this little cohort right here. We lost a general. It wasn't our good one. It was our bad one. Let's go ahead and roll up a new one since we're going to have some issues here in a bit. He's not terrible. Fire phases are becoming more important now that we have growing amounts of artillery on the field. I mean, we don't have growing amounts of artillery, but our enemies do. <laughs> we do need to transport these guys over here. Land movement blocked by hostile fort. 
What are you doing? Oh, it's because they were locked in. Okay, so let's go ahead and transport them over directly with our transports. There we go. Portugal is claiming Kilwa. That is a little spooky. We don't want to fight Portugal either. Let's just try improving relations with them. See if they get less grumpy. Also, potentially the Commonwealth. Let's improve relations with them as well and see if we can get allies against the Ottomans. We're going to have issues with them soon. And there's those Separatists. Okay. They're, they're going to get some progress, but once we get our army over there, it'll be fine. Okay. Do you want out of this war, Spain? We don't actually have any diplomats available. We'll pull back this diplomat. 30 days. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. This is quite the general. 15, 8, and 6 for their composition. So they're a little heavy on the cavalry again. We should be okay, especially once all of our troops get there. Excellent. Where are our armies? Or this army. There it is. Okay. They're making good progress on the way back. We could have gone in and attacked Spain, but not worth, in my opinion. Especially when you look at this and you're just like, yeah, Spain is... Wait, down here? Wow, they lost a lot of troops fighting their rebels. Now we could probably fight them. But with Portugal having claims on us, we don't want to bleed ourselves out against Spain. They have 12 reasons. Could we potentially get war reps? We could. War reps and 92 ducks. Give us your money, Spain. Well, that was e easy, I, I guess. <laughs> okay. Good job, Spain. We can repay a loan, and so we shall. We'll go ahead and do that. That will be a big deal, getting our interest down. Interest payments. Hmm. I'm just trying to figure out how to go to best go about getting out of these interest payments. Although we do need to deal with these rebels now that our troops are actually here. So in we go. We should... We're going to take a lot of damage in the fire phases, but our flanks are better than theirs. Like, they're 15 plus 8, so 23. So yeah, we have the flank on them, 100%. Our shock phases should wreck them. We'll take some damage from the fire phases, but we should be okay here. Theoretically. There we go. Rolling a 1, rolling a 2, rolling a 7, rolling a 5, 4, 3. Just the best rolls. <laughs> there, we got a decent one. Ah, much closer than I would have preferred. Rolling zeros. Always fun. Always fun. Okay, we'll go ahead and send this guy out. And currently, we do not need full army maintenance. We'll go ahead and drop this down to about three quarters, two thirds, somewhere around in there. Once these guys get down here, we should probably be fabricating on Moravi right now. Well, Soyo, Bonioro, and Imarina. Kazan is in the Civil War. That's fine. Imarina is only allied with Moravi. Okay. We'll go ahead and fabricate on them. So we'll build a spy network there. Reason being, then we can fight just Imarina and Moravi. Have one army over here to wipe out Imarina, and the other over here to wipe out Moravi. And Imarina will probably fall first. So, yeah, that should be fine. Commonwealth's opinion of us is coming up. That is good. Portugal's is also coming up, but they are still hostile to us. They're likely to declare war on us. Portuguese Brazil and Portuguese Colombia. Okay, I don't know why they want our... 
African provinces. They don't seem to have anything in the area. Hungary is getting wrecked by the Ottomans right now. Just absolutely destroyed. Is Austria in that? Oh, okay. Austria and Hungary aren't friends. Gotcha. There's the problem. Well, the Commonwealth is pretty much the big boy around here, so... They're allied with Spain. That's good. Once we get to the point where we can rival the Ottomans, that's going to be what we're going to want to do, so that that way we can have friends of friends benefits. We can rival Portugal, but no real point, I think. We're going to have an uprising in Pate here quite soon. 3.6 only, though. We could maybe get rid of that. I mean, we could just park in Pate for a little bit and let that sink. There. Like that. Yeah. Now it's going down. Funge. Gazira wants out. Want, wants independence. Gazira is here. I'll just go ahead and do that. And then Mara. Really? You guys are still still grumpy? You guys need to stop that. 1.7 years. Let's just take a look over here. We can improve quite significantly. So we'll go ahead and do all of that. And we'll do that as well. And that. This is going to hurt our income a little bit, but it should be okay. We just don't want to deal with too many rebels right now. Just buy us some time for separatism to go down. There we go. Excellent. Phone is almost dead. Was under the impression it was off. Apparently I was wrong about that. So we are losing money pretty significantly. Well, not that significantly. We're losing a little bit. Now we're making money. And there we go. Our inflation is going down. Excellent. Increased by 0.06 from our reliance on gold mines. Okay. We can go ahead and mothball this fort here, just so that we don't have to pay quite as much for it. And let's see here. 6.9 years. Socotra. Socotra. All caps. Apparently caps lock was on. That is this little island here. There we go. Get rid of them. 250 years. Yeah, that's happening. 53 years. Yeah, that's happening. Okay. There should be our rebels relatively handled, other than this little bit of nonsense right here. There we go. Do we have overextension? Yes, we do. Okay. Finishing that up. How's our religious unity doing? Low. Very low. We need to be thinking about taking humanist ideas which is, unfortunately, yet another administrative group. We could take something along the lines of... I mean, it, this would just be great. Religious unity plus 25% flat. National unrest minus 2 flat. Ter tolerance of heretics. Years of separatism minus 10. Promoted cultures. Improved relations. Tolerance of heathens. It would just be great. We can't get it next. We can maybe get it time after next, so admin tech 18. How close are we to actually being able to afford colonialism embracement? We are a ways away from that. I mean, 777 isn't too bad. With the great administrative leadership of Zara Jakob I, we've been able to reduce the accumulated inflation of our country quite dramatically this last year. Lose one inflation fantastic so we are now down to 17.94 percent inflation we've dropped it almost 10 percent since we started working on that we're actually making 10 ducks why are we making 10 ducks do we have something special here i don't think we do i think we're just making 10 ducks okay that's fine 100 population in after We'll go ahead and take that. That's fine. More than fine, in fact. Okay, so if we were to leave here, our unrest would start going back up. So we want to stay until this is completely gone, for sure. 
We do have this going on as one with 0 0.5, but that's okay. We'll, we'll deal with that in a moment. Well, not really in a moment. We'll deal with that just passively because that's primarily due to separatism, and separatism will tick away yearly, 0.5 a year. So that will not be a problem. And we now no longer have that bit of overextension. Excellent. And this will tick away at this month tick. Right about now. There we go. And then we can go ahead and march on out of there. This will go back up. Actually, it didn't. Excellent. It was primarily because of the overextension. So we now appear to have absolutely no rebel problems. Absolutely perfect. Well, time to change that and go to war. <laughs> as soon as we have our spy network up for Imarina, we will be declaring on them. We should probably go ahead and protect trade in... Mm, Zanzibar would not be best. Goa would be right now. So we'll go ahead and protect trade in the Goa trade node. That'll get us another two ducats a month. And we finally managed to convert the heretics of Hadea, so now we're going to go for Imboina. There we go. Perfect. We have two manpower, which is the ideal amount of manpower. At least that's what I hear. <laughs> two more months, though, and then that'll be done. We're making money even with the reinforcement, so that's fantastic. We can purchase an ability. There's only one ability left, I believe, so we'll just go ahead and grab Mercenary Discipline. There we go. And 230 will reach the men next month, so two more months and we will be fully reinforced. 46 men. And we're making eight ducats a month. One more month tick. And this will also be a year tick which will be great because that'll reduce separatism in various places. Okay, we can go ahead and recall that, that guy from Portugal. Portugal is now, well, you know, they're still angry at us, but hopefully they'll not declare war on us. That would be nice. Let's see. Only reason we gave them a positive opinion of us. <laughs> Spain is also kind of grumpy. Not much we can do about that, though. 131 for wants our provinces and we can only improve by 100 so Spain will probably declare on us again in the future although they do have a truce until 1595 so four more years rip hungry but so I think we're gonna go ahead and declare this war as soon as we have our spy network however that'll probably be happening next time <laughs>